The sign makes it clear. Passengers are breaking the law if they bring a gun into the secure part of the airport terminal. Yet in the first six months of this year, Transportation Security Administration screeners found almost 900 guns on passengers or in their carry-on bags, some deliberately concealed. The confiscations amount to a 30% increase over 2012, and the TSA has noticed an overall rise since they started tracking the figures two years ago. So far, the most passenger gun seizures occurred at Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, 80 alone. Surprise you? No. Dallas attorney David Finn has handled dozens of these cases. Texas, uh, a lot of folks own and possess firearms. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's a good, honest, law-abiding person, no criminal history, may have a concealed handgun permit, uh, may not, and it's an honest mistake. A blunder which can cost that person a lot of money in court costs and up to a $7,500 fine. The TSA says most of the guns taken are because of mistakes. It still doesn't earn sympathy from some passengers. People should be more aware uh, when they're traveling with firearms and weapons like that to make sure they have it um, in their baggage, uh, not in their carry-on. I, I don't know, understand how somebody could mistakenly. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. Guns are forbidden in the airport, and we all know that. The TSA doesn't believe the gun-carrying passengers are terrorists, but the agency told the Associated Press it can't explain why so many try to board planes with guns. John Moan, Associated Press, Dallas.